Okay guys, picking up where I left off, I'm winding the primary and roughly 59 turns per layer, about 12 layers in total for 709 turns. Still a ways to go. I'll bring you guys back with another update. As you guys can see, I'm uh, moving in on the 709 turns needed. I'll try to cut it off uh, close to that. And uh, here I went 710, so I'll just remove uh, one turn. As you guys can see, I've got the primary winding complete. The only thing left to do, like I've done in the other cases, is to put a one layer or two layers of the 3M electrical tape number 44 around the entire winding and then I'll start hand winding my remaining uh, two secondaries the 5 volt first 31 turns using some 19 AWG wire and then we'll conclude by wrapping the 6.3 volt winding using number 18 AWG 39 turns a couple still photos when I was uh, putting the E and I pieces back together. Got everything in there except for one E. And a little gaffer tape over the uh, remaining areas that are exposed. As you guys can see, I've got the transformer back together and all the E and I lamination pieces are back in. After doing the uh, de-rusting and using the conformal uh, coating as well to reduce uh, eddy currents. So they're uh, insulated to a certain degree on both sides. And uh, that's supposed to uh, make the transformer more efficient. For those following along, this particular transformer is definitely um, underrated for the receiver based on my calculations. I'll share the uh, as-built in just a bit on uh, how the transformer was uh, wired in the beginning and the uh, modifications that I made with uh, trying to step up the uh, magnet wire AWG and still be able to get the uh, transformer to fit in the uh, window. So I used every bit of space. Um, so I got lucky there on my uh, calculations using some uh, triple build numbers for the uh, magnet wire and allowing myself just a small gap. So uh, tight fit, but uh, seems to be working okay. I've already done uh, DC resistance checks between all the windings just to make sure they're still good. And then from the windings back down to the uh, laminations itself, Let's extrapolate some of the uh, numbers for the transformer. I'll just use a, a small wall wart transformer you can see here. This one's rated at nine volts AC. It actually produces, I think, around 12 AC. We'll hook it up. I'll share the math. We'll see what we've got. And then, if that tests well, we'll uh, actually fire up the Variac. I'll bring this thing up on line voltage, unload it, and uh, we'll see how close those uh, numbers are to my uh, original calculations for the rebuild. By the way, you can see the uh, end bells are still de-rusting and some of the paint itself is uh, falling off. I'll remove the uh, remainder, do some light sanding, and give these a nice fresh coat of paint whenever the uh, weather allows me to do so. For now, you can see I've got the uh, laminations clamped on each side, two fasteners just to hold everything in place nice and tight. So uh, let me get the transformer hooked up get the uh, voltmeter over here and let's see what we've got okay you can see my ac voltage here at 12.05 uh, volts 
My line voltage here at the house is uh, somewhat erratic. In the shop, it can run as low as uh, 118, 119. Right now, it's uh, running at 125. And it just dropped just a bit down to uh, 124, now 123. And uh, now you can see the uh, voltage at 11.92. Now I'm back up to about 123 and a half volts AC coming in from the mains. We'll just use this number for now, 11.92 for our calculations. Let me move my uh, leads over from the uh, primary voltage of 11.92. We'll look at the uh, high voltage first. This yellow with the uh, red tracer is the uh, center tap. And we'll just go to the uh, blue lead, which should be uh, really a red lead, but I did it that way on purpose, just so I would know. And you can see we're at uh, 26.2. We'll note that, run the numbers through the uh, calculator in just a moment. Let's go over to the other side of the center tap. And almost the same, 26.29. All right, let me get hooked up here. You can see these leads are cut long for now until I finish the uh, wire dress issue. So these will be uh, cleaned up in time. Let me just start here with this winding. The uh, green is the uh, 6.3 volt winding. So for reference, again, 0.671. Now let's check the uh, 5 volt winding. And if it's showing up, let me get this out of the way. 0.517. Let's go to the uh, calculator now and plug these numbers in and see with 120 volt input, we can uh, calculate what the output voltage would be for the transformer, again, unloaded, which will be less once loaded. You can see the simple formula to extrapolate the number, again, assuming 120 volt uh, line voltage multiplied by the voltage that we measured divided by the line input voltage of 11.92. And you can see the calculated voltage for each winding. And now I'll do the uh, test again with the uh, transformer unloaded. And look at the uh, voltages off of the uh, high voltage from the uh, center tap. You can see the uh, voltage change as I ramp up the uh, variac, keeping an eye on current. I'll try to uh, regulate this about 120. Okay, about 267.5. You can see on this particular winding. Let's move over to the uh, red lead. Let me uh, turn the uh, variac off for a moment or just back it down. Okay, I keep toggling back and forth here around 119.9 to 120.5 and uh, 266.7 on the uh, other side. So uh, pretty well balanced. Let's uh, check the uh, filament windings, the uh, 5 volt and the 6.3. We'll start with the uh, 5 volt winding. Okay, sitting at about um, 120.4 volts AC and 5.29 or roughly 5.3 volts unloaded. 
Let's look at the uh, 6.3 volt winding. Okay, um, 120.4, 120.5. Six point eight three volts. So again, unloaded, the voltage uh, should drop, and I just want to make sure that the uh, heater or filaments were within uh, five percent of their uh, called out voltages. That would be uh, best for the life of the tube. So again, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, transformer is um, undersized. Even my rewind is not ideal. But again, based on the uh, size of the transformer, I'm actually going to get probably the most out of it that's possible. I do have a backup plan. Just digging through some of my spare transformers. This one's in uh, good shape. I think it's rated about 280 volts on the uh, high voltage side back to uh, center tap so that should serve me well again i'm not sure about the impacity of the uh, six three and the five volt winding hopefully they could carry the load you can see how much beefier the uh, laminations are this probably has a core of uh, one by one or a little more handle uh, more wattage for sure so that's my backup plan just in case the uh, rewind attempt is uh, not uh, efficient or effective. Appreciate you guys watching to this point. Now back to uh, de-rusting the uh, end bales for the uh, transformer when the weather improves and uh, get back on the chassis, do some more de-rusting on it before getting the old uh, capacitors and out of tolerance resistors out of play. Thanks again for following along.